As government spending became more carefree, the restraints on its fiscal powers became weaker in the name of greater efficiency. One of Canada's top forensic accountants explained to us that as a result of new government methods of accounting, the public was effectively kept in the dark about government spending. Basically in the 60s, the Comptroller General of Canada was, uh, his office was, or that office was practically eliminated. Uh, and the spending authority was given to the ministers, each minister. And that changed the attitude of spending in government. Because prior to that, uh, you know, budgets had to be religiously followed. Uh, spending public money was a big issue and a big thing and had to be justified. The Comptroller General used to be a person uh, with an, who had an office similar to that of the Auditor General, reporting to Parliament and being responsible for uh, the, uh, the budgets. And so you had one, per, one office who said, no, you can't spend that. No, you can't build that facility in that community this year because it wasn't planned for, it's not required, and so forth. So you so had an overriding control of the money going out. That's right. Uh, you now have the Auditor General who looks at the money after it's spent, but the person who was there to look at the money before it was spent, that was given to the, to the politicians at large. As politicians gave themselves more spending powers, they also removed other important accountability checks. Throughout the 60s, Maxwell Henderson was Auditor General, Ottawa's top accountant. He told us how the government kept growing and growing. I warned them, I, I showed them the staffs. The staffs were multiplying, mushrooming, blossoming out. When did it change? When did you see the spending starting to go out of control? Uh, about 1963 with the uh, implementation of the Glasgow Royal Commission on government organization. That was the point when all the departments uh, they made thousands of recommendations, but the reports generally were designed so that the head man of the department was written the way he wanted it, so he could then go out and hire more staff, increase the size of his office, get himself in line for better promotion, and all over Ottawa these things happened. So it was empire building at its best. And that was when the explosion really occurred. Not only did successive governments ignore Maxwell Henderson's dire warnings, they deliberately undermined him. Tell us why you were unpopular. Because uh, I exposed so much of their waste and extravagance over the years and got such a tremendous press doing it, they decided that they would make my life difficult and they proceeded with a series of events which did just that, namely downsizing the salaries of my men, freezing my staff, and uh, trying to prevent me from disclosing so much in my reports. Our parliamentary system requires MPs to act as analysts, accounting for the results of government spending. Members are supposed to question, debate, and ultimately approve the government's budget estimates in Parliament. Yet, we saw that these vital functions were eliminated with the agreement of all parties. What were some of the changes that took place that you attribute to allowing spending to get out of control? Well, the principal change took place in 1969 when they stopped doing the estimates in the House of Commons in what was called Committee of the Whole. Uh, it had been a way of slowing down government as by tying them up in their estimates for days after days after days and therefore the government couldn't pass their legislation. And the first year of the uh, Trudeau administration, they uh, changed the rules uh, of the House of Commons by in invoking closure uh, and they moved the estimates out into committees outside of the House, uh, the standing committees. And they put a, a, a phrase in the rules which is very interesting, that is that they could discuss the estimates in these committees and should vote on them, but if they did not vote on them, then they would be deemed to have passed by, I think it's the 15th of June. Well, as soon as you've deemed something to have passed, everybody lost interest in them. 
the whole idea, therefore, of accounting for your resources, demonstrating your cost management strategy, it just seemed to be redundant. And the people, generally, who were in power, as I say, considered those kinds of uh, discussions to be, they called it the bookkeeper mentality. We were interested more in the big picture, the strategic thinking, uh, and those kinds of things. Well, I think we're paying the price for that today.